dear students welcome back to full scholarships live video series and we will discuss about the china's fully funded scholarship in the shandong university and this is for the students who wish to complete their bachelor's master's or phd degrees in china and this is for the session 2024 and 2025 you can study absolutely free in china before that uh, let me remind you to subscribe our youtube channel full scholarships you can do that from our website here or you can also follow us on facebook twitter Uh, YouTube and Instagram as well. Here is our YouTube channel. You can uh, subscribe us there, and the link for this scholarship for China is given in the YouTube video description below. Check out the video description. Link is given there, or you can check out the about section of the YouTube. Link is also given there, and you can directly visit our website fullscholarships.net or cashmerlook.com. All the scholarships are there. Also, we have added one more feature to the website. You can now filter scholarships by countries. We will add the list so on, and you can filter the countries if you wish to study in Italy, you wish to study in Canada, UAE. So this was the much-awaited feature. So we have added the list full here, and so that you can easily go to that country and check out the scholarships available in particular country. We will add and uh, add and update this list in few days, and you will see that. Meanwhile, this is the China scholarship that is fully funded in the Shandong University. You can also follow us on Instagram. Here, you can also get the link there. About section, there is a link. And once you reach on the website, you can check that this is a flashcard here, and you can read about the information. Uh, the country is China. University is Shandong University is one of the top universities in the global rankings, and the degree level that you can complete here is bachelor's, master's, and PhD. Deadline for this opportunity is first of March each year. and the deadline for the admission as well as the scholarship varies so here you can check benefits of the scholarship uh, full scholarship includes tuition and living allowances also there is accommodation and comprehensive health insurance also if you can't get full scholarship even you will get the partial scholarship which covers tuition and medical insurance so nothing to worry about in both the cases you will get a scholarship then the eligibility criteria all you need to is just get admitted to this university then eligibility criteria you must be an international student you must not be a chinese to uh, chinese citizen and then other basic criteria applying for this and there are some age limit like to apply for bachelor's degree you must be under the age of 25 and while for the masters you must be under 35 and for phd or doctoral you must be under 40 age then english look uh, language requirements you should speak english and if you are chinese native speaking and you can do that and there is no requirement for ielts toefl or any other scores here and even if you have english proficiency certificate from your previous school you can submit that or if your education degree your bachelor's degree or any master's degree mentions or transcript mention that you have the education completed in english or your high school certificates mention the english language as your medium of instruction you don't need any of the other certificates to prove here simple basic process and to apply simply scroll down at the end you can see visit here to apply so click on this link to go to the registration page for the website here so click on this link once you click on that you can check shandong university official study at shandong mission is there and you can see shandong university scholarships for international students all the information is there again we have posted the same information on our website so that you you don't have any doubts you don't have need to worry about this you can even cross check on the google as well as this is the official website i recommend cross checking it in here before applying then all the information is here and in the fourth step you can see application process is shown here so what you need to do is two steps first go to this website and fill the application form and in the same application form you have to upload the scholarship application form which you can download here and fill in here So if you click on this scholarship application form here, it will download a doc file. Here you can see this type of form you have to fill. This is the scholarship form, and the form that we see on the screen. I'll if you click on this, here you can see this type of registration page will be there. This is for admission, and this form you have to upload in the same application portal. This is for the scholarships. So we will do the both processes, and let's fill the scholarship form first. Suppose. I'll enable the editing in this. So suppose you have to fill the form here. Same. Suppose I'll do this, and my passport number, for example, and then date of birth. You mention the date of birth.
and then religion city occupation email then the phone number and the birthplace similarly the program applied suppose i wish to apply for the bachelors and then the teaching language applied so i wish to supply, uh, apply for the english suppose i am applying for the uh, bsc any course i will choose that in the and why are you applying for this justify this answer why wish to you uh, why wish why did you wish to be considering for this scholarship why are you intending to apply for this and will you study at shandong as a self supporting student if your application is not uh, given a scholarship so select yes here i recommend selecting yes so select yes here and tick this what you need to do is if you cannot write in the box you cannot tick the check box what you have to do is just certify all this you have to print this form and then do a hand signature here even if you write your name here full name and then you have to do is print this and then also mention the date of birth sorry date of the signature here so what you need to do is just print this up then capture a photograph make a pdf and then you have to upload this form here we'll show the process suppose we have filled this form now we have printed it and this is the pdf that we have ready in hand so let's go back to this now to fill the admission process you have to click on this link here and this type of form will be there for the registration type for the first time users you have to register here email passport number create a password and confirm the password then select how what is your home country select that enter the verification code here this is all mathematical there are no alphabets here so after you register this type of registration thank you box will be shown to you and an email will be sent to your email id so this type of email will be there in your email box so you have to come here and click on active or this link and once you click on that you have this congratulations message the at your account is activated now so what then you can do is just click on continue here and once you click on continue you can see we can log in now here so you can see i have my id my passport number it's asking email or passport number i have both email and passport number and then password and verification code i will mention the verification code here you can see now i will enter the passport that is here so let me enter do you can use both passport as well as email so you can see uh okay there is now you can see all the details are correct passport everything is correct so click on login so you can see login success and it will go to the dashboard if you have previously applied to this university there might be previous applications but we have not we are here for the first time and till now i hope you have no doubts left if you still have you can slow the video and watch it carefully again all the steps are easy and till this page loads let me again remind you if you are new on the youtube channel do subscribe and do follow us on instagram as well as uh, directly visit our website uh, fullscholarships.net and now once we are logged in you can see there is nothing and you can click on this study overseas links so quick links are there or in the menu you can see all the options so click on study overseas and now you can see no applications are here you have to click on apply now here so you can see whether the information is correct so you can say correct and click on submit now you can see student categories what do you wish to study so i wish to go for the undergraduate if you are going for post graduate or masters degree you can do that as well as let me translate this english uh, website to the english first so select english here okay this is now in the english so now you can see undergraduate masters phd whatever you are going to study here you have to select that suppose i wish to go for the undergraduate and undergraduate preparatory select this and click on next after that you can see scholarship type uh, select the source of funding so if you are self supporting you can select that you have to select that earlier because in the later application process you can submit the scholarship form so click this to view scholarship category once we fill this so click on next and choose a major of instruction you wish study click on that and then 
major search so suppose i wish bachelors and then click on enter and starting date suppose i'll select uh, august first and let me check here can see that we have this programs uh, select uh, that are going to start so let's change the process of language here i select english and in english language uh, there is nothing showing in this month so let me change month to july and international student undergraduate preparatory program this is also but the language medium of instruction is english so you have to select the english and you have to find till this actually this should not happen but let me clear this and search and filter this click on search okay let us suppose choose this uh, as do international it if it mentions international definitely there is an english option in the inside of this so suppose we'll click on the apply now are you sure no we have to we have to wait for this let me get it done first so let me under clear this and clear search so it's showing both the processes let me go back to the english version so both the processes are shown in uh, the chinese language here so let me go back because i don't want to uh, study in the chinese so unfinished applications will be there unfinished okay here you can see documents under verification means okay let me click on apply now correct click on submit and let me go for the masters this time okay here you can see undergraduate you don't have to select this you have to select this undergraduate students here and then click on next so now you can see Chinese government scholarships, Shandong University scholarship for international students. You can submit both. I will select this Shandong University scholarship, and there will be also instructions for this. So you have to download this as well, and click on I have read terms and conditions, and click on agree and continue. Now you can see you have to take this. So there was a mistake from our side. You don't have to select the last option. The first option you have to select. Okay. Now uh, please select your application intention. If you have not won the sender, will you step uh, okay yes i will accept still click on next then select the medium of instruction here you can see english and now we can see all the bachelor's program here and you can see all the programs that are all taught in english language and this is four years program school of mechanical engineering so i'll select that click on apply now click are you sure click on yes sure now the application process is correct so we have the basic information so there will be three main steps to you complete online application fill the online application form upload the required application material and submit application click on start now your family name and the given name passport number passport expiry date this you should not make any mistakes here suppose i'll select march and then passport type so it's ordinary passport, Marshall stats, country, uh, time of citizenship acquisition. So you should mention your date of birth here. Okay. After that, birth date. 
so you should not make any mistakes here okay after that place of birth and country of birth so select here search your country native language suppose i speak english i'll select that then your religion occupation so i am a student so you can submit that here and then uh, highest level of education i am applying for undergraduate so i have my high school here and then uh, employer or institute affiliated your school so i say like my school name then do you have any medical history so just check out that and if you are also this scholarship applicant you can select yes if you have applied to i recommend apply to chinese government scholarship as well as and enter that yes is his number in both the scholarship you will get one of them so i select no here because i do not have application right now then in the language proficiency i select chinese language proficiency so i say beginner because i don't have so i have none and then english proficiency i am very good and if you have any scores you can submit that then references i say website you can submit the information here then years attended of the school so you can mention that years here when did you started a uh, school high school to now okay so i started from uh, like 2018 to 22 suppose i say jan and year attended to suppose july 1st then school name and you can submit other details like degree type and diploma then select the country here you can see degree type so it's a high school field science maths then have you ever studied so no i have not and if you have work experiences you can submit that family members select relationship suppose brothers brother then the country of that submit that from the list choose the occupation suppose an engineer his number and then then email suppose example email if you have publications awards uh, then financial support suppose family address my family then phone number and relationship student suppose or my sibling is then organization and email of that organization suppose i'll copy this email and submit it here and then emergency contact person family suppose family phone number and then phone number then email and then home address city phone number and then this country and the mobile number then the zip code and then the current address 
phone number and then the uh, region mention all the details here and then zip code and then receiving how will you receive any so you can say self collection as well and then I confirm and click on next please note that the date you obtained your current country is not in the same as you obtained the passport if you never change your country religion by obtaining this data birth should be same okay I have my data birth issue here because I don't remember what I mentioned earlier okay let me do this and click on next please note that the date you obtained your current country region is not the same as you obtained your passport okay 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 okay, okay. let me do this now click on save and click on next okay now please note that the date you obtained your current country region is not the same as time you obtained your passport if you have never changed your country region the date of okay let me change the country so that we can get the issue click on next okay actually it should match with your date of birth while you sign up so in the sign up process i do not remember what i mentioned in the date of birth so i have to cross check that so you should be very careful in filling the application form because they are cross checking the information and I'll do this click on save and click next still there is some issue okay if you submit this then you can click on you can see all the sections are now done you can click on declaration and once you do this you can go up to the upload of the document section so let me cross check this actually there was no issue in the data birth all the issue that was i have forgot to mention the uh, details about the organization or the school and just there was a mistake in that now you can see uh, we have to upload the document that is first is a personal photograph so let me upload the photograph first this you should keep handy and here you can see sample pic is there i'll select that and click on save it will be success now uh, the passport photograph i'll upload a sample here then high school diploma then transcripts letter of motivation if you need this you can just contact us on instagram this is a paid service then language proof proficiency that i have studied in english you can also get this format from us then physical examination form this is just a health set from a local uh, hospital you can get that from the local document and then this is the non no criminal certificate like your noc from the local station you are residing in then financial statement suppose a bank statement for a year if you have you can submit that and then any other like financial supports you have then here you can see scholarship form from the shandag university that we have here you can see this form you have to do is just print this sign it and then come and upload it here that we done and after that if you are under 18 you can submit the supporting documents like your parents id card and that now you can see next click on next you can see all the forms are done 
can see all the sections are done if you have any issues here you can cross check it before submitting now i have completed all the sections and you can see our application is submitted successfully so you can see internal messages there also and successful submission of applications so click on reading and you can see uh, your application to this has been a uh, machine and has been submitted please wait for the admission result patiently so you can go this here go back to station message and you can click here now you have the inbox application study overseas and you have some psychological evaluation later on you will have received there an evaluation form you have to fill that you are mentally fit then there are some questions you have to answer there and in the meantime you will also receive the email that your application is successful the same message that we had here in the dashboard all the process simple i also recommend you going applying to csc chinese government scholarship and then mention the csc number in the same application form that we showed you and you will get the both scholarships either at least you will get a one scholarship here because you have both the options you should not miss that if you have doubt you can ask us also we will be adding more countries in the list here so that you can easily filter and apply to that country and find the scholarship about that all you need to do is just do it here on our website fullscholarships.net check out that or cashmillook.com links are given in all the social medias that we have and you can check out the link in youtube about section youtube video description facebook page or directly go to our website there you can find our social media pages here and everything is there you can just go there and apply to these hope you have no doubts left if you still have just messages on the instagram or comment down below the video before doing that do remember to subscribe keep watching have a nice day